All right, let's get right to it. Our first pro After Effects tip comes from Tony Babel. Um, he's an incredible animator, does a lot of stuff, I think actually for Disney. He's been popping off in the NFT space, um, has an amazing ability to create complex animations fully inside After Effects. He shared a tip right here that I think is incredibly valuable as someone who animates a lot with path keyframes. So here you can see that instead of animating with this complex rounded body shape, he animates with a sharp pointed um, simple shape and then applies the rounding afterward. If you're familiar with 3D, that's pretty similar to a subsurf um, or subsurface, wait, subdivision surface uh, modifier where you, you model with as few sh uh, points as possible and then you add the rounding and smoothing afterward. So this allows you to do more complex animations without dealing with tangent handles and all of that crap. Um, if you don't know how to do this, I'll show you real quick over in After Effects. Why is my view so weird? All right, so if we draw out a um, rectangle here, and I'm gonna I'll make this a simpler color there. Um, I'm going to convert this to a Bezier path because that's what he has. Um, so you can see we just have these, these points right here. So we can make our shape and then um, the idea would be to animate with these four points and then to add, click this little triangle and add round corners. And then we can change this radius and actually get a round shape that is controlled by those points. So imagine trying to animate this and get this kind of shape and get those those curves looking perfect and animating all the handles. That would get so just biggity boggity. Another pro tip, I actually just released a video showing how to use this um, plugin or this script in more depth. But if you go down into window, uh, create nulls from paths. This is shipped with After Effects. You don't have to install anything. You can actually, oh gosh, my dog's going crazy. Yeah, here. I'm back. So with create nulls from paths, you can just click this points follow nulls and, oh, you gotta select your path. And then it'll create these points that you can animate. And then you can, you can animate with nulls and control a complex path um, animation. The possibilities of this are absolutely endless. Okay, so in a follow-up tweet, uh, TJ Peters um, showed that if you use the convert anchor point tool, which you can just hold down command or control when you're working with your paths, you can actually sharpen up these um, edges with round corners applied. That's pretty cool. All right, so our next uh, tip is actually to use preview shortcuts. So this one was actually brought to my attention from this tweet by Daniel Savage, um, where he shared the pro tip of using shift numpad zero to skip every other frame if you're animating on twos. So this might seem like a really weird complex thing, but basically if you're animating at a low frame per second, you don't need to preview all of your frames. So you might as well skip them, save some time. But that also made me aware of the fact that you can go in here and change your shortcuts um, to do different stuff. So you can set your spacebar shortcut. This is um, just plays kind of a normal preview. Shift spacebar I have set to skip one frame. As you can see, numpad zero is audio only. So that's really good for like working with voiceover tracks, whatever you want. Um, yeah, so I have this image right here. All of the links for these things will be down in the description, by the way. Yeah, so this shows kind of my my presets that I've used, and hopefully you find it helpful. You can pause this and look at it longer if you feel like it. I'm not the boss of you. All right, third tip, good boy ninja. Now, Ninja over here was a good boy and shared this mind-blowing thing that is really cool. You can drag and drop properties onto your comp viewer and it will create a reference that um, 
that shows the actual value of that. All right, so we're gonna test this out. I created a new null object and we just twirl down. I'm gonna drag position up here and I'm gonna make this smaller. Uh, we got this live um, reading of where the position of this is. Why would this be useful? If you're debugging expressions, it can be very handy to set up this type of um, thing to see what the actual property you're getting is. Um, like if I had uh, applied some sort of weird expression to the position and I didn't actually know what my value was, I could just drag this on here um, and get an exact readout. And it sets as a guide layer, so you don't have to do anything if you don't want to. That's what I got for you. If you wanna get tips like this sent to you directly in your email inbox, there's a link in the description. You can subscribe to my newsletter. I'm sending out um, these things with some more detail and some more breakdown as well as some other cool resources that I use a lot. And yeah, you don't have to if you don't want to, but if you want to, you have to. If you want more videos like this, hit subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Peace.